welcome back to Red Ted Art. Yes, finally, it's dragon bookmark time. This was inspired by my friend Willaday, who did a wonderful unicorn version, and I thought it would be perfect for dragon because you guys have been asking me for a dragon for ages. So come on then, let's take a look and see how this guy is made. Oh, and don't forget to check out the unicorn down below. Anyway, off we go. <laughs> So to make a red dragon, we will need uh, some red paper. This is actually a square piece of paper cut in half. So I've got 16 by eight centimeters, some scraps, scissors, glue, and a little bit of pen for the detail. Um, first thing you need to do is create your um, sort of basic heart bookmark shape. So to do that, you fold your paper in half, make a nice, neat crease. Then, oopsie, you bring this over, make another crease, open it up, and now you have to fold this line across to the middle. So it's gonna make a diamond up, so that diagonal. And then repeat on the other side. Now comes the bit where you shape the dragon's head, because right now this isn't really much of a dragon shape, is it? You need to decide, do you want your dragon to point this way when it's in your book, or that way? So you now have to turn it around. <clears throat> so I want this dragon to look in that direction. So for this dragon, I'm going to fold a little bit up, so turn it around. I mean, you could fold it, but um, I just like it because it's a little bit less bulky that way. So I'm just going to snip a little bit off and that's going to just shape my the front of the dragon's face. And then for this side, so this is going to be the body, I'm just going to fold this down. And then again, do it as straight as you can. So I'm just going to turn it around. Okay. Now, if you want, you could snip the bottom or trim it. I don't think it matters. I, I don't mind it at all. So I leave it on. I'm just going to give this a nice neat crease. Now you could, if you want, glue these flaps down, but I, again, I don't think it matters so much. Now you'll need um, a little bit of uh, yellow and red for all the details. Okay, so the easiest bit to do for the ear is to draw it first and then cut. So I'm going to make it quite big. And the clever thing about the ear is that actually it glues down the head a little bit and secures it. So this is a really important part of your craft, even though it doesn't necessarily look that important, but it will secure your head a little bit. So this will be your ear, but cut them all out first so you can see it all together and make sure you're happy. Now we need to cut a uh, set of um, sort of spikes. <laughs> I don't know if you call them spikes. Are they spikes? I guess they are. So let's cut. Make them a little bit bigger if you wish because you need some space for gluing. I think you'll need about four or five, but I'll cut a few extra my spikes. I also want to draw a wing. I'm going to make my wing in the same color as the spikes. So for the wing, I'm going to draw Actually, didn't like that. Let's try that again. I want to go up. I need that sort of pointy bit. And then round. I didn't get this bit right. And then, there we go. That's better. I like that one a bit better. Okay, now let's just check we're happy with it all before we start gluing down.
I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> Let's stick it all in place. So as mentioned, this ear, by sticking it on here, secures this flap, which is really handy. So you want to have as much of it as possible on your actual bookmark. There you have it. Your bookmark corner is finished. Now, just one last thing. If you, if this ear doesn't secure it enough, you can always put a tiny bit of tape here or you can just put a piece of paper across and glue it down just to secure it. But otherwise, this is it. So you have your two, oops, <laughs> different dragons um, and facing in different directions. So you just have to make sure that you kind of reverse them depending on which way you want it in your book. I quite like both ways. And I think they're super cute, aren't they fun? So you guys have been asking me for dragon bookmarks for ages and finally I have this dragon bookmark. Also, this is great for Chinese New Year. So if you're celebrating Chinese New Year, why not make this dragon? Anyway, <laughs> I'm waffling now. So if you like this craft, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. But above all, we'd love you to keep watching and of course, keep making and see you here again soon. Take care. <laughs> Bye.